Hi guys and welcome back to another quick Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and welcome to this quick video post. In today's video post I'm going to show you guys again part 3 of our little mini series of hair retouching techniques. If you haven't seen part 1 and 2 please fall back in the blogs and have a look for part 1 and 2 where we showed already, let me just turn off my help layer here and also the rest of the layers where in part 1 we showed you guys how to do the cleaning up of just the plain normal hair, how to clean all of that up a little bit. So part 1 is all about that. Part 2 is all about how to fix these two holes and how to duplicate more hairs and burn them in or actually merge them in a little bit. Okay, so that was part 1 and 2. And in part 3 today, what I'm going to show you guys quickly, let me just turn on my help layer here, go back to brush and just with a red foreground color, I want to pretty much just show you guys how we're going to clean up all these little hairs that we have here at the front and how we're just going to make a nice line over here. Okay, yeah, so let's get going. Also, before I even start, sorry, this image was sponsored by Cass Photography, local beauty photographer in Cape Town. Please have a look at her work. And also, we're retouching on Samantha Lauren Kane, local makeup artist and model. All right, so let's get started. Okay, let me turn off this help layer over here. Let me turn on another layer. Okay, move that down, and I'm going to rename that to New Help Layer. You don't need to do a help layer. This is just for me. It always helps me. That's why I'm showing you this technique. And yeah helps me. Okay, back to P into the pen tool and now we're going to do a small path over here and then just on that we're doing a stroke. Okay, so let me tap over here and here we're going to take a nice line over there. That looks good. Then I don't want my path to fall all this way down here so I'm going to press Alt and just take the end point over here and move it very close. Okay, and take my next path over here and just very simple small stroke over there. That looks okay. Okay. Done like that. Going to press right click now and go all the way down to stroke path. Then stroke path menu here. We're going to say set it to pencil and simulate pressure. Yes. Okay. That. And then escape, escape, escape. So we're out of pen tool again. Now we've created on a new help layer here. We've created a nice shape and now we can actually move this a little bit around. So go back to your move tool. And I'm going to move this a little bit around now and press Command T also to just shape and turn this a little bit. And now what I'm actually looking at is just to place it at some point where I know, okay, it's complete or going into these hairs here at the top. I can retouch all of these small hairs and these hairs over here. Not too much. I actually want to just take a little bit less. Okay. Turn a little bit more. Okay, so now I know if I blend it in and out, I can basically see, okay, I have to retouch all of this small stuff here. So we get a nice flow in here. Maybe also a little bit up. Take your cursors and just move this. You have to play a little bit with this and move it until you get it right. Okay, then last step, last week, what I showed you guys is basically we had here just a little bit of blurring. So at the moment, it's still a little bit messy here. So what I want to do is press Command J and just put that together in a group and just rename our all day here to say hair blur or something like that. Yeah, hair blur, is, it's good for me. Okay, just put that in the right spelling there. Sorry. Hair blur. Okay, and then we're going to minimize that group again. And now... On this ha last hair blur layer again, or group, select that, and now we're going to do the master shortcut again. Command Alt Shift E, and now we've got our new layer, which is like our second stage. I would call it the second stage. I'm just going to write the new layer, so I know, okay, that was our new layer again. Okay, and now basically we're going to just retouch on this new layer. Back with J into your healing tool. And here at the top, I want to set everything to normal, pretty much, the blending options. I want to, uh, my source should be sampled. Then current layer, not all layers, for now current layer, because I want my help layer to be on. So select your new layer again, and now we're going to zoom in very closely. And now pretty much like I showed you guys in the last tutorials, I'm just going to sample from a very close area again, and just over here, paint all of that, or actually heal all of these hairs that are pointing out. So let me do this quickly and I'm also going to fast forward the video again because we don't have too much time to show you guys this stuff. Okay. 
Okay, so as you guys can see now, I've cleaned up everything quite nicely over here and we still have a few mistakes. So if I'm going to turn this off again, our help layer over here, you can still see that we still have to fix all of this now at the later stage. So don't worry about that. We can still do that once we have cleaned up everything over here. Okay, while we add it, I'm just going to zoom in very closely again, turn on my help layer over here again. And basically, while we add it, just want to retouch quickly these small hairs over here from the eyebrows, which are just a few strokes. So sometimes when you're busy retouching something else and you see something that is irritating you, just go ahead and retouch that as well at the same time. While you're on that stage and you're doing something with the skin, or say you're retouching skin or hair, you can also retouch the eyebrows a little bit already. Sometimes I mostly do it at some later stage, but now at the moment, just want to do it over here a little bit. Okay, so that's all of that. And what we're going to do now is turn off that help layer again. And we're going to zoom all the way out again. And now we're going to create just another layer again. Go back to our cloning tool over here. Press S to go back into cloning tool. And now we're going to set our cloning tool again back to darken mode. And now what we're going to do is pretty much to sample again an area very close. And then we're going to fill up all these small areas that we are actually missing over here. All there, over there, here a little bit, over there. And just also a little bit over the area that we just uh, healed over here. So it doesn't, just breaks in a little bit more and not, doesn't look like that cutting off. So it doesn't look that fake. Okay, let me just zoom in here closely. Okay, hold Alt. And now we're just going to sample over here a small few areas. Again, very little, 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 little bit. And just be very carefully when doing that. Don't worry if you brush over a little bit. That's why we created on on a new layer. Because then we can just erase there a little bit again later. Okay, let me just do this for a little bit. Okay, let me zoom out here a little bit again. And we still need to do that a little bit more over here in the middle, a little bit more. Okay, press over here. Sample an area again. Just going to zoom out a little bit again. Sample an area very close. And now I'm just going to paint and paint and paint. Strike, strike, strike. All of those little bit strikes in. Don't forget at the moment we are sampling quite a lot and we are stealing a lot of patterns and also uh, striking in very sharp edges of sh very sharp hairs here. So at some later stage we have to blur that a little bit again. Because obviously everything was a little bit blurred over here. This is very the nice part over here. Everything is very sharp so it's very easy doing it over here. Over here is a little bit more difficult. Okay, over there. So if you have more sharp hairs then it would be easier for you. Okay, and my brush is also very small, so I'm going to make it a bit bigger. Just brush over here a little bit. Okay, and brush that in a little bit. I'm actually going to take my opacity down now a little bit, say to 50%, round about 50%, and just brush that in a little bit. Break all of these big flows in here. This is just because it's unsharp, that's why I'm doing it over here. If it's not unsharp, you can't do this, what I'm doing now. At the moment, with the opacity down, you will have to paint at 100 opacity, otherwise everything gets blurry. Okay, that's pretty much all I'm going to do. Yep, over here. So that's our second or actually third stage now, just for the cleaning up the hairs a little bit. Okay, there we can there you guys can see it. That's our before and after, before and after. So what I'm gonna do now is just take this new layer and the second layer over here and say merge layer. So I'm gonna put them together as one layer and now we're gonna say new hair. Okay, keep it under there and under hair blur. I'm also gonna move that under here. And then on top of this layer, I'm going to say Command J again to duplicate that layer. And this layer, we're going to blur this layer quite a lot again. This is because we want to blur this area over here a little bit. So it just fades in a little bit better. Okay, blur. 
I'm going to say blur over here, Gaussian blur, and then again around 1 or, or yeah, 0 0.5 pixel. We're going to blur it over that. And now I'm going to hold Alt again, create a new mask, and on that mask I'm just going to brush in that a little bit over there. Just select my brush, make it a little bit bigger, press Ctrl all together, just get into that feathering mode, feather it a little bit, take it down to 300. I'm working with a Vacuum Continuous 4 board, so why am I wheel here? I'm able to change my brush size really quickly. With white foreground color, I'm just going to brush in very, not too much over that side, sorry, because there we wanted to keep it nice and sharp, so with X, switch again, black foreground color, just paint that out, sorry. X again, white foreground color on our mask selected, and now we're just going to brush a little bit over here. That's actually a little bit too much already. As you can see, it starts blurring too much. So what I'll do, I'll paint at the 100 opacity, completely over it. And then what I'm going to do is take my opacity down here. From the right hand side, from just the layer, I'm going to take my layer opacity down to say 70%. Yeah. That looks okay. Okay, yeah. So that's pretty much part three now on retouching just the last final hairs. Let me just put that all together in a group, the help layers. Later you can actually delete these help layers once you've done the retouching. But that's pretty much the parts that I use or actually the techniques that I use to retouch here a little bit. There is still loads of work in here to retouch all the hairs as I can see over here. Here at the top is still, at the bottom is still a little bit. Over here we haven't retouched anything over here so this could still take me say another two or three sessions to just retouch all of that hair which I'm not going to do because I showed you guys most of my techniques that I use for hair retouching which I'm going to do now in part 4 is just showing you guys the final touch ups how to get the hair so that it shines and that everything looks a bit real to just put the light and the kind of colors together alright so that was my quick tutorial for today my name is Manny if you guys still have any questions please email me to team at mannyphotography.co.za I'm happy to help you guys with your questions alright see you all in the next part part 4 and goodbye